Good evening, everyone. So thankful that you've chosen to join us on this Wednesday evening for our devotion. Uh, we're going to be looking in the book of Ephesians uh, this week, if you want to be turning there. You know, we started last week looking in the book of Matthew at some of the lessons that Jesus taught his disciples. And part of that was when Jesus was teaching about anger and warning his disciples about what the Word of God uh, clearly taught about anger. So I wanted to kind of continue that because that's going to be the same lesson that we're going to be looking at uh, tonight at, um, at the church. But there's another verse in Ephesians that we're going to look at tonight that kind of addresses this same thing. Uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, uh, Paul says to the Ephesians, he says, um, Be ye angry and sin not. Uh, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Uh, verse 27 says, Neither give place to the devil. You know, anger is an emotion that can be very difficult to control. You know, one of the most um, uh, troubling things, one of the things that's hardest for, uh, I think, everyone, and even with Christians, is to, uh, when something catches us off guard, uh, when something uh, hurts us emotionally, uh, it's very difficult to control our anger or uh, our attitude. But just like any other emotion, uh, oftentimes we have difficulty thinking rationally uh, when things um, catch us like this and we end up acting uh, on impulse. Now, Paul, he recognized this, and he encouraged the Ephesians that while they might experience anger, uh, that they should not allow their anger to control them. And that's kind of what I wanted us to look at tonight in this short devotion. You know, when Paul says, don't let the sun go down on your wrath, he doesn't just mean um, you shouldn't be mad after dark. Uh, that's not what he's talking about. He says, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Don't allow that wrath and that anger to hang around. Uh, don't allow it to, um, to get hold of you. Don't allow it to, uh, um, to kind of control your life. Uh, release that anger. Give it to God. Go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, God understands when things make us angry. Uh, you know, he gave us that emotion, but he never intended for that emotion to control us. So when Paul is saying, uh, let not the sun go down on your wrath, he's saying don't harbor that anger. Don't let it sit there and fester and uh, kind of consume you. But instead, uh, understand you're angry, understand the situation, and then give that anger over to God and allow him uh, to give us some peace. The verse goes on in verse 27 and says, uh, neither give place to the devil. Uh, don't give Satan an opportunity to control you. Uh, don't give Satan an opportunity to come in and get a foothold in on your life. Uh, you know, this statement is similar to what we discussed last week from the book of Genesis. You know, when, um, when God rebuked Cain because he failed to bring the correct offering, you know, he told Cain, he said, um, he said you know, you need to control this anger, and if you don't, then sin uh, is waiting at your door. And that's similar to what Paul is saying here. Do not give the devil a place. Uh, when we allow ourselves to get angry and stay angry, we're allowing Satan an opportunity to control us, uh, to control the way we think, uh, to lead our minds, and to affect how we view every situation. So what do we do about our anger? You know, for, for some of us, anger is a bigger issue than others. Uh, some people have a harder time uh, dealing with anger. But God intends for us to be able to control this emotion that is so strong. So how do we do that? Well, we've got to give it to God. We've got to recognize uh, the situation, recognize the things that make us angry, and uh, do not allow ourselves um, to fall into that trap that we would uh, just continue to go on in anger. We need to release it and give it to God. You know, Paul told the Galatians... Uh, that if they would walk in the Spirit, they would not fulfill their flesh. They would not be bound by their flesh. And that kind of goes along with this. Uh, when we are walking in the Spirit of God, uh, God really helps us to be able to deal with emotions just like anger and to be able to release those and give those to Him. Now, when we are not walking in the Spirit, when we are controlled by our flesh, then it's much more difficult uh, for us to be able to put off anger and be able to get focused on what God wants us to do. So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope if anger is something that you struggle with, that it would be something you would pray about 
and uh, pray about uh, giving God the control over that anger and uh, let him release it from you. Uh, walk in the spirit and uh, be able to put down that flesh. Uh, I hope you continue having a blessed week this week. And uh, I hope that if, uh, if you don't have a place where you regularly worship, that you would consider coming and being with us at Sulphur Springs. We have worship service on Sundays at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And then Bible study on Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. Uh, we want to serve you. We want to be here uh, to do things to help you and your family grow in Christ. And I hope that's what you're doing. Uh, we need to be a light in these dark days that we are facing today. And uh, I believe that God is empowering us and giving us the strength to do just that. So I uh, hope you have a blessed week, and we look forward to seeing you again uh, the next time we get together. God bless you, and goodbye.